Black Ops Cold War Season 2 is finally here, but what weapons are the best? A number of changes have hit the game since its debut, so what is the current meta and what should I be using? Here are the 5 best classes to use in Black Ops Cold War. Since the launch of Black Ops Cold War, the AK-47 has been one of the standout performers in the assault rifle category, thanks to its immense damage output and versatility. Here are the best attachments for the AK-47. The KGB Eliminator Muzzle. The 18.2 inch VDV reinforced barrel. The Spetsnaz grip for your underbarrel. The VDV 50 round fast magazine. The Gru elastic wrap for your handle. These set of attachments bring the recoil down to minimal levels, making the AK-47 incredibly easy to control, even at longer distances. The often overlooked SMG, the Bullfrog, is arguably one of the strongest submachine guns in the game right now. Here are the best attachments for the Bullfrog. The muzzle brake 9, the 7.6 rifled barrel, the steady aim laser for your body, the patrol grip for the underbarrel, and the serpent wrap for the handle. With a large magazine equipped as standard, additional bullets aren't necessary when it comes to the using the bullfrog. With this set of attachments, the overall range of the bullfrog is drastically increased, making the bullfrog a viable option even in mid-range gunfights, where assault rifles often trump the SMGs. If they're not doing the trick, why not try the Stoner 63 light machine gun? It's criminally underrated, armed with a deadly rate of fire and low recoil. The Stoner is great to use in combined arms matches and even better in Outbreak. For the Stoner 63, I'd recommend using the Quick Dot LED for your optic, the 16 inch cut down barrel, the foregrip for your underbarrel, the SASR jungle grip handle, and the Raider pad stock. Aimed at providing an increase in mobility, this combination of attachments will allow you to outplay the opposition with superior movement speed alongside decreasing reaction times, enabling you to snap onto targets as quickly as possible. If sniping is more your thing, the LW3 Tundra is an outstanding choice. Armed with extremely high damage statistics, it can be used for picking off opponents from a distance or to create havoc up close and personal with quick scopes. Here's the best attachments for the L3 Tundra. The Stabilizer .308 muzzle, the 28.2 inch Tiger Team barrel, the front grip under barrel, the speed tape handle, and the marathon pad stock. These attachments will give you a multi-functioning sniper that will be great for fast frantic gameplay as well as more slow and methodical tactics. And finally, the dreaded M16. Despite the fact it's fallen out of popularity due to the recent nerfs, it's still a strong weapon and a great choice for all game modes. With the M16, we recommend using the Millstop Reflex Optic, the Muzzle Brake 5.56, the 15.9 inch Strike Team Barrel, the Front Grip for your underbarrel, the Speed Tape for your handle. These set of attachments are ideal thanks to its sheer versatility. It's effective when engaging with a target at longer distances and is also viable if you want to get in amongst the action. If you're looking for more details on what we would pair with these weapons, why not head over to our website to find out a little bit more about the full loadouts. Click the link in the top right of the video or click the link in the description down below. Those are some of our best classes for Season 2 and Black Ops Cold War. If you've got any classes that you would highly recommend to anyone, drop them down below in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, drop a like and subscribe for more Call of Duty content. And for the latest news, leaks and guides for Black Ops Cold War, head over to gfinityesports.com.